Daniel Medvichki of Slovakia being led out by Tony Rodrog of Spain. These two shooting in the set system for the final under 21 gold medal up for grabs here at the first live international archery tournament of 2022. Well, John, lots of conversation going on between the archers and their coaches. What do you say about this match? Well, both these athletes are actually 16 years old. So for the under 21 discipline, that's very young. Yeah. So what a fantastic experience for two young athletes who would be under 18s at Lord Archery level to gain serious experience for their future. So two 16 year olds competing for the recurve men's gold medal match. No fear here on the shooting line. Tony Rodrodge to get us underway. We're both going into the top target and uh, pulling low and left. Bit of a weak looking release there from Rog Rog, who is the number three seed in this match. Bad 28 from uh, Medvedski. And another. Well, they, they potentially might have a 29. I think that's a 28, John. I agree. Yeah, so two set points shared between them, one apiece. There was mention that the second arrow for Rod Rodge might have been into the 10, but on site it looks like a 9. Is it me or have the lights gone a little low on the targets? And they did look very tar dark there, didn't they? And the shadows look very different from where earlier on in the day. So maybe somebody uh, wanted to charge their phone up and pulled the plug out. Yeah, oh, they need to put uh, a couple of euros into the meter. Uh, but would that be an indication or, or some reason why those first two arrows from well, the first arrows from both archers went low and, uh, and left? Um, it it's just the change in light. The practice room for this finals arena is out the back and it's very orange and normal like lights everywhere. You come out here under these very white spotlights. It's hot. You feel hotter. It, it, and, you know, this camera's pointing at you and thing you tense. People tense up. And once you start tensing, your muscles change. And what seemed like a perfectly good sighted in bow before is now not. Well, unless my eyes deceive me, the set points in that first set went to Medvichki. 29-28 in the end. Second set. Rog Rog starts with a 10 and needs it. Needs to put the pressure down after the markup for Medvichki here in the first. Both archers dialed into the centre, though. Little bit long on the second shot there for Rog Rog, but his form looks superb. Twenty nine potentially could be beaten here with another ten. Oh wow, out into the eight. Well whatever happens here, 
the set points are going to be level. Marked as a 29. I think that uh, second arrow may well get marked up for a 10 for the Slovakian. But won't necessarily, well, definitely won't be enough for a 29 for Rog Rog. Two apiece, John. Absolutely. Rog Rog, the left-hander, his form looks really tight, really neat. Yeah. Where Medvitsky's form isn't quite as nice. And on his last arrow there, you could clearly see that his release hand came away from his face. Yeah. And that caused his arrow to go out into the red. And it was crucial to all. Crucial indeed. The last of the under 21 matches here at the Neem Archery Tournament. And we are all square. We're getting bang for our buck in the first live session here of 2022. Final gold medal in this first session being decided right before your very eyes. Daniel Medvichki of Slovakia going up against Tony Rodrog of Spain, both 16 years old. Rodrog to shoot first in the third set. Both looking fairly clear nines to start. The solid form of Rod Rod is now really starting to pay off. He's found his centre. He looks composed. Not as clean from Majitski. He needs to keep his shots nice and tight or he's going to start dropping behind fast. There's an opportunity though. There is a big opportunity at 27. A 10 would have got him the points. A nine gets a share of the points and three apiece. Now, John, you're looking at the solid performance from Rog Rog and then drops one arrow to, into an eight. Now for me, uh, Medvitsky's head went down after his second arrow into the nine. He looked like, oh, crikey. And he very quickly picked himself up to score another nine and almost forgot about the fact that a 10 would have given him the points. Finely balanced still. Always the sign of a good shooter is if they do put a bad arrow in. The next arrow, if it goes in the middle, that's always a sign. And the replay operator showing us that the second... Uh, Arrow and the reaction from Medvitsky really didn't, was disappointed, but did turn it around, did uh, secure a share of the points in the third, is still level despite Rog Rog, the number three seed, perhaps shooting a little bit more closely to his process. Three apiece here in Nîmes. Recurve men's gold medal match for the under 21 category being contested between Daniel Medvitki of Slovakia and Tony Rodroj of Spain. The Spanish archer will shoot first with the scores all level. Oof, that was a solid shot. That was a quick action both through the draw and the release. Little pull there from Medvichki. Rog Rog putting that one dropped arrow behind him, following through with two solid tens. For me, that's the mark of a great shooter. But a strong comeback from Medvichki as well. Much cleaner shot. Big arrow here. Oh, we just saw a little wobble there, but it's into the 10 for a perfect. That can't be matched. And the Spaniard will go 5-3 up after four. 
Important arrow here for Medvichki though. Puts it into the 10. Together 29, that will give him some confidence, keep him stabilized. There's a little bit of mystery going on there. Not sure what happened with that first arrow, I think it was for Medvichki. Medvichki just needs to keep his release tighter. Uh, as it go, as I said, it's his tension and his strength on the final millimeter of the shot. Where Rog Rog, he looks really strong. You saw in his last arrow, he did have a bit of a wobble, but had the strength to control the bow, control the shot, and that comes from a lot of training. Love to hear what was being what's being said between uh, Coach and Daniel Medvitsky. There's a little mystery over that first arrow of the fourth set. Neither quite sure why it ended up in the nine by the looks of things. We go into the fifth, a 5-3 lead for Rog Rog. So it will be the Slovakian Medvitsky to shoot first. Shooting to keep himself in the match. Potentially drop shot from Rog Rog. Good comeback there from Majitski. Just reminding Rog Rog he's still here. <laughs> Nervy looking 10 there. Chance to put some pressure down with a big score here. Puts it right into the 10. A good shot from him for a 29. A 10 for the gold medal. It's into the nine. That's a 28. And that's the points to Daniel Medvichki and 5-5 five, five after five regulation sets here in the recurve men's under 21 gold medal match. Daniel Medvichki has drawn level the Slovakian five apiece with Tony Rodrigo of Spain. And yes, we're going to have Another shoot off. Well, despite the disappointment that you can see clearly painted on the face of Daniel Medvichki. He's got himself into a shoot-off here. This is down to one arrow. This is anyone's gold medal here in Nîmes. Medvitsk is a real fighter in his approach. He's a good attacking shooter. When he gets it right, they're really in the middle. But he's got to watch his process, because if his release is slightly weak, he will get a wider arrow. Where Rog Rog is more consistent in his form and his technique. When he does get a bit nervous, he tenses up a bit long on the shot and he tends just to miss. Okay. The faces are being replaced on the target, so we've got clean faces in case there's a measure. The uh, acting coach in the Slovakian box is enjoying the music being pumped out in the venue here. Anything to keep the tension down ahead of this nervy shoot off what a conclusion to the first live session here of 2022 for world archery a shoot off to decide the recurve men's gold medal in the under 21 category here in Nîmes between Medvichki and Rodrod Rod. Slovakia versus Spain for gold one arrow to decide High nine. Chance, big, big chance for the battler from Slovakia. Yes. It's into the 10. 
What a performance from the 16-year-old Daniel Medvichki from Slovakia. He had to fight his way through that match, going down to the Spaniard, who's also 16 years old, in the fourth set, managed to claw his way back to a tiebreaker and then pops it into the 10 for goal here in Nîmes. Well, he really did dig deep, didn't he, John? What a huge win there from the number nine seed from the ranking round, yeah? Rodrodge Rodge shot his one arrow shoot off much quicker than he had been shooting all that in the previous part of the match. Arrow just out high, Rivitsky kept his process clean, kept his release clean, won absolutely inside out in that 10 ring, very proud. Great moment there in the tiebreaker. He had to battle his way through a number of drop shots. He showed his emotion throughout and in the end forced the tiebreak and the pressure became too much for the Spaniard. Pops it into the nine, not a bad shot, but Medvichki, the Slovakian, managed to nail it into the center of the target. Just his seventh 10 of the uh, match but it's about shooting the tens at the right time. Well, he shot so well throughout, did Rog Rog, but in the end, the tiebreaker went with the Slovakian. Gold for that man here in Nîmes.